revelator aggregator. I was reading something on Wikipedia, so check your sources, about uh, Kennedy Johnson 60, the ticket, and apparently Kennedy's secretary, Evelyn Lincoln, I believe her name was, she claimed that Johnson had blackmailed Kennedy into getting on to the ticket as vice president by threatening to expose all the womanizing. Sorry, I should have said acmailed blay. And if you read between the lines in uh, all of the Caro Years of Lyndon Johnson books, but especially the Passage of Power, the final one that's been published so far, this is not a stretch. I mean, I think during his time as Senate Majority Leader, Lyndon Johnson utilized all kinds of acmail blay to push uh, legislation through the Senate. In Master of the Senate, the third book, Caro talks about, describes the Senate as a dam where all this legislation from the House representing the popular will of the people would break and crash and die over and over and over again like civil rights. For like a hundred years, civil rights legislation just died in the Senate. Also, just as an aside, when he was in college at this little country teacher's college in Texas, Lyndon Johnson was part of a secret say a society a I don't know <laughs> this secret say society was called the white stars the big men on campus were part of a fraternity or secret say society called the black stars and Lyndon who they called everybody called Bull Johnson for BS because he lied all the time couldn't get into the black stars so him and some other dudes started the White Stars, which was way more secret, like legit secret. He also ended up using this society to subvert and steal student body elections. So his penchant for election every they goes all the way back to college at least. As part of their hoogie boogie initiation, a itcheral ray, they swore on an encyclopedia or a dictionary or something. They didn't even swear on a Bible. I guess that's how hoogie boogie they were. Of course, to be fair and full disclosure, I personally affirm I don't take oaths. This is all in the first book, The Path to Power. You can check it out. Also, I think it was on Wikipedia that I also saw somewhere that Lyndon Johnson made it to the second degree of Freemasonry down in his hometown in Texas at the lodge down there in Johnson City, I believe. So he made it to the fellow craft degree in e in Remasonry Fay, but he didn't make it to the third degree of Aster May, Asen May. But here's a thought. What if he was tapped after, what if some hoogie-boogie element in that lodge or above that lodge or whatever, what if they recognized something in him that they wanted to cultivate and bring on board into some real illuminized, more lofty illuminized circles, sorry, lit circles, and they were like, dude, you don't need to fool, young man, you don't need to fool with this porch ace, ace and may stuff why don't you ditch this blue lodge foolish foolishness and come on board with some higher level hoogie boogie secret say society say stuff what i'm inarticulately trying to say is what if lyndon johnson dropped out of blue lodge asin re may and instead graduated into some kind of higher level lit secret say society it's just a thought. That's wild speculation. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say wild speculation without the algorithms getting me. But anyway. But I'm rambling. And all this intel on uh, the itchual rays that I contend uh, comprise the entity K assassination A, um, that's all going to 
probably take up a big long video in and of itself so we'll just consider this a prelude to that father god bless you all jesus christ saves and stay positive